Hello, my name is Dr. Charles Young. I'm a lecturer in mechanical engineering at ATU Donegal, and I'm here to talk to you today about our BA in electric vehicle engineering, which is a level seven degree. It's a three year program. In year one, you'll begin with a common year entry whereby you'll share um, classes with our mechanical engineers, our electric in uh, engineers, and our biomedical engineers. Um, so the, the subjects there and work will serve to provide the core fundamentals of uh, that which all engineers required, the mechanics, and the maths, engineering science, the familiarization with the need to develop and uh, produce projects um, and deliver projects. So students will be developing a skill set to enable them to deliver on the electrification or that transition. So in order for them to um, deliver on that, they'll be studying electric vehicle low voltage and high voltage systems. Um, thermodynamics and battery technology, um, vehicle chassis dynamics, because all of those systems will have to change from existing internal combustion engine technology to electrification, basically. Um, obviously, with a significant portion of that being power and control, um, because that's where the challenge really lies for local industry. Hands-on experience that the learner will get from this program are, is, well, in, in first year, we'll, this learner will be inducted into the workshop, be able to utilise all the workshop equipment, and then in the second year, that's we're going straight into the production of a Formula 24 race car, in fact. So the learner will be um, assembling that and then shelling that so they can compete against other colleges in the vicinity. Obviously, there's no competition in it, we'll be winning, but um, after that then, we will have taken a baseline car and developed it so we would hope then in third year the students will actually be able to construct their own vehicle from scratch. Career opportunities are immense for this particular skill set. Um, if you consider any piece of portable equipment at all that consumes um, petrol or diesel, well that's got to go in the first instance which is just, um, <clears throat> it's mind-blowing if you begin to familiarise yourselves with what our local industries provide. So all of these local industries not only have to change out their internal combustion engine technology for EV te te technology, but they've also got to now change their hydraulic uh, approach to delivering the work that needs to be done and convert that to electrification. So hydraulic systems basically are a thing of the past and if you, you don't have to look uh, far, even in this instance beyond a car park to see uh, Manitou's and that running around the car park here that run on hydraulic systems and that all has to be electrified going forward. There's a huge demand for in the engineering skill set in general, you know, um, but specifically, yes, for this EV there is an, uh, a, d a growing demand and I suppose as, as local industries become familiar with our, our offering here and our graduates, then as too will their demand for this specific skill set.